We're going to be looking at how to install a Keel U-Vision for ARM MDK Lite. And this is going to be installing what we have here, our Texas Gradle, for all of our labs that we'll do in the playlist link below the like button, and then Windows drivers for our launch board. So this is also very important to do. So it's going to be for something that looks a little bit like this. We have our whole debug here and everything running. If we stop it, it'll go into a more simplified view and just look something like this. So this is what we want, and we are gonna want our keel. We want all our labs, and that's we're gonna get through our lab way right here. You can see we have all of our labs inside of here. We were Texas software, and we also have our drivers that we need. So going back to that website, the first thing that we have is the how to install Keel Uvision. It's pretty straightforward if you're on Windows. Now I did not install it on my Mac, but we would just go to the link, we would enter information, we would download this, and the Texas is very similar also, we would just download this as well. We execute it. I save both of these in the Keel folder that's in my main folder. So we can see that we are going to be, I don't know why Eclipse is in here, probably because um, uh, we need the MDK uh, plugin. I guess that's for what we're doing here. I might have accidentally saved something in the wrong folder. Uh, but we have our ARM, our data sheets. Once everything is installed, we have our labware, Texas software, and UV4. Now, we also want our Celeris drivers. And if we scroll down, we are going to get the drivers here. So we can just click download the drivers, and it'll take us here. And we're going to want to download this. Now, from here, if we just go straight into our keel, it may not work. We might get an error when we're trying to run this. And it took me a while to figure this out, got some help. And now I know that all we need to do is go to Windows, go to Device Manager. It's going to bring us up to our Device Manager like this. And we should see something that's like Stellaris right here, the in-circuit debug interface. Now, if it looks like this, it's probably good. However, before, I had it look something a little bit incorrect, a little different. Uh, we don't want that. So instead, what we're going to want, instead of it looking nice like this, it's instead going to look something like this. Other devices, we're going to have our in-circuit debug interface. So if it looks something like that, again, exactly like this, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to, let's just say that this is what it looks like. Right here, we click it, we go update driver. We're going to browse my computers for drivers. We're going to go to browse. And then we're just going to go to wherever we saved it. I saved it in the keel and the Stellus ICDI drivers. And we would click OK and it would install the drivers and then it would become something like this. Now the actual lab videos will be in the playlist link below the like button. This is just how to install everything.